How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're well. Uh, so what we're looking at today is normally what happens when people buy the Helix. Uh, there's a couple of sections that uh, they don't really look at or, you know, they will go a few months and go, I didn't even know that that was there. What the fuck? Uh, and this is one of them sections. So yeah, let me just quickly show you what's going on here. If we go over to the editor, You've got factory one, factory two, all your users, and at the bottom you've got a thing called templates. And in templates, as you can see here, um, all of these possibilities are usable by you. So obviously we've got uh, two-tone blend, we've got live PC, live Mac, Logic Garage, Garage Band, we can control YouTube, we can do all kinds of things. There's plenty of videos where you can get kind of really in-depth about what these things do, and a lot of them... Even personally, I've not kind of touched and played around with. Uh, one of the tones is actually called Two Tones A and B. I've already renamed it Two Tone Mama. Don't know why. Don't ask. I've got no fucking idea. My mind is a dangerous place to be. And what I've done is um, kind of move some stuff around a little bit and then, you know, you can go download this patch. So normally what happens is, is that this amp will be usually where this EQ is, and these sit, you know, uh, under underneath here next to each other. And then you've got your top line for the clean and then the bottom line for the dirty. There are no snapshots in this. I've not done any. Uh, and the reason for that is is that I've just laid it out kind of like a traditional footboard. I've just got the calligraphic EQ, the dual delay, and the Scream 808 all on foot switches. Uh, if you wanted to go into snapshot mode and go between the two, you could do that. There's nothing nothing stopping you doing it. And the reason that I've done this is because uh, I would be then basing this preset around how I would use it rather than how you would use it when you go out live. So, two tones that we've got. Top line is the Who What 100. <laughs> Sounds beautiful, uh, which is pushed along slightly by the kinky boost at the front. Uh, and yeah, in the past, I've put the kinky boost in between the amp and the cab. One of the old tricks that some of us uh, have done over the years with Helix. That then will drop down. It will hit the glitz, the dual delay. Again, optional for you to swap over. Retro reel and the tile. No uh, compressors or nothing in this. And then down below on the left-hand side, there's a switch which says Tone A and Tone B. If we switch to Tone B, we get the Marshall. Which again sounds huge even with the stock cabs and the stock cab for that is just the green back with the 25s uh with the 57 dynamic and again it's using these effects that are in line and when you switch on that uh switch bit that says tone a and tone b it'll flick between each one and bypass the one that you're not using uh and it's just it's mega the way that that you can do this and it, it, it's a real kind of headache saver um so also, when we do this, there's no spillover in between. So you don't get that, you know, that pop where something's kind of too loud and it's it's creating an absolute pain in the bum hole. Uh, that is pretty much the patch. So again, top line, Kinky Boost just goes into the the high watt, the Who Watt 100. 
That then will drop down into the 412 for the Who Want the Matching Cab. Hits the Glitz, hits the Jewel, hits the Retro Reel, hits the Tile Reverb. All of the Marshall stuff is kind of bypassed. And then when we hit the other one, the Switch, then that gives us the Marshall. With regards to the Marshall settings, realistically, I've not done much to it. Um, I've just left the driver about six. Got a tube screamer in standard settings for me there, which is the, the gain all the way off, tone about halfway, level all the way up. Gives it that nice kind of kick in the ball sack. Who doesn't like that? Uh, I've thrown the EQ in between the amp and the cab again, just to kind of, you know, smooth things out a little bit. So if I just turn that off, you'll hear the difference. Gives it a little bit of life. Don't know about you, but I think it makes it sound more martially. Is that a thing? Somebody was asking on one of the videos the other day, what's the clicking sound? It's the pickup selector. I'm a pickup selector kind of guy. Fucking sue me, man. Um, and there's a, a wah pedal in there as well, should you want it, uh, just in front of the Marshall. Um, I mean, you could put it wherever you want it, but I, I've put it in front of the Marshall because that's where it kind of makes more sense. You know what I mean? <laughs> Take it easy, Kirk Hammett. And that's the patch. That is your patch for today. Uh, it's really, really straightforward, quite simple. I've also left you a shit ton of room either side on both amps to kind of do your own thing and put some stuff in that you like or take away some stuff that doesn't work for you. Uh, granted, because, you know, this is a, a stereo patch and some people don't like the stereo. They prefer to just be, you know, I'm all about the fucking mono, man, right down the middle. And that's fine. I just like to make as much stereo noise as possible because it covers up all of my shitty mistakes. Oh! All right. As always, thanks for watching. I do appreciate you being here. All I ask in return for this free patch is to, uh, you know, slap the subscribe and stick your fingers in the notification bell and uh, come back for more because we're going to be doing plenty more of these over the next foreseeable future. You keep coming, I'll keep making them. Till next time, guys, I'll uh, see you on the next one.